The owner of Certix is ready to pay a bigger fine in order to keep the doors open longer. A Jim Certix opened for business days after state lawmakers repealed Minnesota's ban on Sunday liquor sales. But there was one big problem. The law hadn't taken effect yet. Now, as Reg Chapman shows us, Certix is ready to pay up. Certix Liquor has been a staple in Northeast Minneapolis for more than 80 years. We're a leader in the industry, so we have to be a leader and start out first. That's what owner Jim Certix said on Sunday, March 12th, when he opened his doors for business. First Sunday we could be open. And we are open. We're ahead of the game. Certix was warned about his clear violation of state law and city ordinance, but he continued to sell liquor that Sunday. They changed the law and the governor signed it. Everybody seems to want it, and why send tax dollars to Wisconsin? Let's be open. Why wait? The next day, Certic was hit with a notice of adverse license action. Both sides negotiated. And last month, a city council committee rejected a settlement of a 10-day license suspension and a $6,000 fine. Shutting down the store is probably a bad move for the employees, so it's a good thing that they're doing a different penalty. The new license settlement agreement calls for a $50,000 fine. The liquor store will close for three Sundays, July 2nd, 9th, and 16th, but the cheese shop may remain open for business. You shouldn't have done it. Um, whether the city is uh, a little overreach, maybe, but um, I have no idea why he would do it in the first place. Certic and his attorney are quiet today, saying they want to respect the process. No matter what happens, people in this community say they will never stop supporting this family-owned business. It's a great place, and this community needs it. Rich Chapman, WCCO 4 News. If the Community Development and Regulatory Services Committee does approve the agreement, it would then go to the City Council for a full vote. Certix will have uh, until May 31st to pay the $50,000 fine to the City of Minneapolis.